Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. I pray that you are all doing well in Jesus name. Amen. So I have a quick word to share with you all. It is based off of two dreams that I had one recently on January the 8th of this year, 2022. And the other one was from the year 2020. And it is a word that the Lord wants to show you or to illustrate to you um, what is in store for you, including your kingdom spouses. And so you want to hear this word. And thank you all for your support and your love, your subscriptions and being a part of the growth of this channel and what God is doing in me and through me. Amen. I love you all. I have tried my very best to read and respond to emails, all emails and all comments. But to my surprise, the other day I discovered several comments that have been blocked by my filter for one reason or another simple reasons such as you know the use of certain emojis my apologies i was not ignoring your comments and i mean a lot of comments now it's simply beyond my ability to go back and go through them all it's just accumulated and there's just far too many and so if you had a question or a comment for me or something that you really wanted to share and it was missed please send me an email my email address is in the description box below also each week i leave you know scripture references in the description box as well and so you can go ahead and check those out and read over the scriptures at your own leisure. It has been quite a journey. Thank you all so very much for your love and support, as I said, over these past few years. When the Lord asked me to step out into the unknown, I did so by faith. And what an adventure. It has never been a dull moment. I have seen the fulfillment of so many things that God has said, and I continue to wait in faith as it all unfolds. Many of you have shared with me that you have been watching me for a few years now, since the beginning. That blesses my heart. A few of you have even started your own channel and doing quite well as a result of what God spoke to you through this ministry. I am grateful to serve and to be a vessel used for God and for God's glory. Continue to be a light on a hill. Amen. The other day, a viewer asked me what my position was regarding Jesus Christ. I was shocked. Please, please forgive me if I have not made it crystal clear. Apart from Christ, I am nothing, and I can do nothing. He is the righteous right hand of Abba Father. I live and breathe and have my being in him, as he is the Lord of my life and my everything. He is the word that became flesh and is the word that is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. My only hope is found in him and in him alone to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm going to jump into the word. In the first dream, which I had a few days ago, as I said, in January 8th of this year, I was traveling in a car behind someone I knew quite well. I recalled his face in the dream as being bright and filled with gentleness and warmth. And his smile made me happy and it made my heart feel comforted. And we were chatting on the phone and having a conversation while driving. I remember smiling a lot as we were chatting. And as I was following behind him, I lost sight of him for a moment as other cars got between us. Then he navigated me by the cell phone. 
giving me directions and I caught up with him and he led me to a house and there was a surprise party for me and I was given a gift and the dream ended. So the friend in the dream that I was following is the spirit of almighty God who comforts us and leads us in the paths of righteousness. So what the Lord shared with my spirit was that God has a precise plan for your life. Things got in the way and tried to get between what God has promised and had promised. Some of us even became comfortable with the distractions and the limitations of the detours. But God in his infinite mercy and love did not give up on you or the desires that he placed within your heart. He has redirected your path and led you through many obstacles for this moment in time. You are about to rejoice as others gather around you to see what God has done. It's all going coming together and will soon be revealed. It is by the spirit love and sovereignty of God that has brought you to that place of promise and you will be greatly surprised and all will gather in celebration around you. In the dream as I was opening the main gift I was opening in expectancy as if I knew what the gift was. So although you will be surprised, the surprise is going to be because God came through for you with the very thing that he said he would. You will be overjoyed by the love and the mercy that he shown in your life. Three scriptures deposited to my spirit. Isaiah 43 verse 19, behold, I will do a new thing. It shall spring forth shall you not know it i will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert the reason why it says will you not know it or will you not perceive it is because you know it you know the things that are the desires of your heart right and the rivers in the wilderness are that you know how god made the way when there seemed to be no way Amen. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 41 verse 20, that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord has done this and the Holy One of Israel hath created it. Everyone that gathers around will see and know because you have spoken it and you have written the vision and you've made it plain for all to see. So when they see it, they will know that truly this was God. Amen. Psalms 37 verse four, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Praise the Lord. So the second dream that the Holy Spirit brought back to my recollection that I had in 2020 at that time, I did not quite understand the dream because I was not single at that time that I had the dream. And in the dream, I was a single person because so because of my circumstances, I didn't share the dream with anyone in the dream. I was single and at the airport, I had just missed a connecting flight. I could see the plane starting to go down the runway. The, the check-in officer went out of their way to help me and even got the plane to turn around. I was able to board the plane and when I did, everyone was looking at me and I sat close to a gentleman who I understood in the dream after boarding the plane that he was my husband and the dream ended now it's important to understand that i was single prior to getting on the plane but knew the gentleman once i got on the plane to be my husband the spirit of god has clarified for me that
that the hindrances that caused your delay wanted to prevent to come between you and the spouse God has for you. But again, God has intervened and intercepted the plans of the enemy. And now that you are back on board, you will soon meet who God has set aside for you. You will meet your kingdom spouse during your season of takeoff. Together, you will share in the new heights God is taking you to. Proverbs 21, verse 30. There is no wisdom, no insight, no plan that can succeed against the Lord. Isaiah 14, verse 27. For the Lord of hosts hath purposed, and who shall disannul it? And his hand is stretched out, and who shall turn it back? Nothing can stop God's plans, beloved. Amen. I pray that this word was a blessing. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I appreciate your support of this ministry. I love you all, and God loves you so much more. And remember, as always, to keep your sights on the things that are eternal. For it's in the eternal things that we can move beyond the walls.